Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Bob here. Thanks so much for stopping by again today. So today we're going to be taking a look at another really nice watch from EMG Watches with their Nemo. This is actually a collaboration between EMG and HKED Watches. Between the two of them they've come out with a really great vintage style diver. Comes out in a lot of fun colorways. I'm actually really happy they lent in the yellow. This was my favorite of the bunch and it just gives off those summery vibes. I especially like that after going through the long winter up here in Canada. So big thanks to EMG for lending this as well as a couple other watches out to the channel very thankful for that so let's get into the Nemo all right so you could probably tell from the intro that I'm really digging the bright vibrant colors on this one if you go to the site they've got some awesome variations and if the brighter colors isn't your thing there's some more muted color options there too so let's talk about the dial here first and Taking the colors out of the equation, it's actually a really nice clean dial layout. The applied logo at the 12 is actually the HKED logo. Down at the 6 is Nemo 20 ATM. I love that the minute and second hand reach right out to the edge of the blue chapter ring. That red on the second hand along with the Nemo text looks really good against the yellow and blue. Every time I look at it, I just picture wearing this somewhere down south beachside. I think it would make for a really great travel watch. When it comes to Loom, the Nemo is definitely no slouch. They're using C3 X1 Super Luminova. Really good, strong, long-lasting Loom. Love that they loomed the bezel. That's always nice to see. And I'm a bit of a Loom junkie, so more Loom is always a bonus to me. The bezel is a 120-click bezel. Good action. Nice, tight tolerances with very little play, if any. The insert is a matte ceramic. We do have a coin edge there as well, and everything lines up as it should. The case size on this one comes in at a width of just under 40 millimeters. I'm getting a little under 47 millimeters lug to lug. The lug opening is 20 millimeters, and we have a thickness of just over 13 and a half millimeters. A couple of things with that thickness that I think that makes this wear a lot thinner on wrist is, first of all, that domed crystal, which is sapphire, does have AR coating on the underside. The crystal adds some height there, and it's not only the crystal, but the way the case juts out there at the bottom where it meets the screw down case back, a lot of that disappears on wrist. And for me, it makes it wear a lot slimmer than the measurements suggest. The water resist on this one is 200 meters, and the watch houses the Miyota 90S5 movement. So we've got a pretty nice looking case. I really like that curvy side profile. The crown, a couple of things I wanted to point out. First of all, it must be machined really well because it unscrews and has a nice pop when it releases. We have good winding action and the one negative for some people is going to be the fact that we have that ghost date change position. So for some that's going to be not an issue. For me it's not an issue but I thought I'd mention that in case it's uh, something that might bother you. If we put it to the last position here we can get the uh, time change and then we'll screw it back in. Screws back in really smoothly. The case back here has a pretty neat etched squid logo, which I think looks really cool. The icing on the cake, though, for me with this watch is the Beads of Rice bracelet. Feels great on wrist. It just pairs perfectly with the watch. We have a nice solid clasp here, too. So let's pop it on here. All right, so this is it, and man, this just wears awesome to me. Really nice proportions. I just totally love the look. I usually swap straps and bracelets on my watches, but I think if this reminded it'd live its life on the beads of rice, it looks just perfect on that bracelet. If you are into swapping straps, though, I forgot to mention the case does have drilled lugs. Same as their DL63 we looked at the other day. I describe this as just a fun design and a watch that's fun to wear. Well done by EMG and HKED for sure. So price-wise, they are asking $450, which I think is totally fair. I'll leave links to where you can find these in the description below. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.